Hello there. Welcome to the Sue Klaus Show, such as it is. That's starting to become my opening tagline. Anyway. Yes, I'm back in the... <laughs> well, a week ago I wasn't in all this hat and coat and glove business, but today I am. Come back from the dog park. And, you know, the dog park is great. And I know Lenny likes to run around a lot more than he can in his fenced yard at home. And he gets a little bit of socialization, even though sometimes it's with the other humans more than the other dogs. Right, Lenny? Come on. And, uh, and then we go to lunch, you know, and give him some of my lunch. It's all good, usually. Yeah, but sometimes, like today, <laughs> A few dogs got over rambunctious and started attacking a couple small dachshunds. Not him. They attacked a couple small uh, long-haired dachshunds. And the owners of the two um, bulldogs were there and could tear their dogs out of the mix. But the primary conspirator, I guess. I, I mean, it just developed a pack like in an instant. It, that's all the time it takes. But the one remaining, his owner was off on a cell phone call, missed the whole thing, and it's like, he needed, I'm yelling no to him and stop. But I'm not his owner's voice. He needed to hear it from his owner. I've seen this happen two times there. I'm trying to think, was it the same dog, same owner, that did this last time this happened? I don't think it was. <laughs> I, but I don't know. All I know is that in both situations, the owner of one of the dogs implicated in the, in the soon-to-be disaster, uh, they were far off. I mean, we were all near the gate. But she was not. Missed the whole thing. So I'm standing there. I'm trying to see where Lenny is in the mix. He was in the mix, but they weren't after him. They were after the two dachshunds. And the owner of the two dachshunds is an older lady. Nice lady. Had a friend with her. But, you know, it takes a split second for that pack to form. It takes dogs with high energy and a lot of rambunctious to make to let that happen. And all they need is a target. Len was not the target, but he was in the mix, and I don't quite know why, unless he was... I don't know if he was trying to distract the dogs away from the doxies, but he wouldn't have because the big dogs knew him, the boxers, had been his pals all day, or the whole time we were there. So the boxers were never going to attack him. They'd been playing with him, much to his chagrin, since we got there. The big dog, he had also made peace with before this ever started. So again, the big black dog wouldn't have been in the mix. He wouldn't have been a target either. These were much smaller dogs. These were miniature dachshund, long hair dachshunds. Beautiful. But one's very much older and one's younger and they're okay. They walked away from the park. But the owner, she's just, she's gonna be shocky all day because her babies almost got eaten by this big black dog. The, the trouble is that a, a miniature dachshund, when stepped on by a big boxer or a bigger whatever dog he is, um, and he's a beautiful dog too, but, but I was there yelling no and stop to him. Even after the incident when the dachshunds were in the two ladies' arms, he was still sniffing up at them and I had to be there saying, no, stop, to this dog that is not mine. His owner needed, he needed to hear his owner's voice saying that because 
it's just like any kid. You know, if a non-parent tries to discipline a kid, they'll go, you know. So I didn't make that much of a dent. I'm not the owner. He needed to hear no and stop from the owner. But the owner was way at the other end of the park. Pretty much missed the whole thing. And I'll say it on a cell phone call, even though I don't implicate the cell phone. I'm just saying, this is a big park. Even when he gets far away from me, I have to keep him in sight. I have to know what he's doing. I have to pay attention to what's, what he's doing and what other dogs are doing around him. For his own good, for my own good. But they were, they were not close up at all and didn't even come running. Just let it happen. probably missed the whole thing. I'm just... <sighs> I'm so tired now. <laughs> just from this one experience. And, you know, I, I haven't been feeling good. I still get these low-grade temps. I don't know why. I still have a, kind of a stomach ache my, and my knees are. Low-grade temps that come and go. Painful knees and a tummy ache. What the hell is that? My throat hurts now from screaming at the dog. No, stop, no, stop, no, stop, you know, and his owner was not one of the voices yelling at him. And that's who, he, that's who he needed to hear. That's the second time there's been an incident like that at that park. And I'm like, was it the same owner? No, it's a different person. It's a different person, slightly different dog. It's happened twice. I'm almost positive it's a different person. You no, know, the other time it happened, the owner stood there like a statue, watching it. He didn't move. He didn't peep. Not a peep. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So. I feel sorry for this older lady that owns these two dogs because I'm sure she practically had a heart attack. Luckily, she does have a friend with her, and she had a friend with her at the park, and hopefully she'll be with her for the rest of the afternoon just to make sure the owner's okay. These are her babies. They're little dogs. They're, And they said we should stay in the other so part of the park. There's another part of the park that's reserved for either tiny dogs or dogs with a problem or training and I guess they'll just be relegated to that part of the park even though they had been fine a whole per almost a whole perimeter around the park no issues no problems no other dogs bothering them until they got close to the gate and then it all hell broke loose and I mean all hell broke loose and I thought we could all get hurt in this trying to pull these dogs off we could all get hurt Sometimes happens at that park. It's so wacky. Ah, they had a bouncy house there for I think a birthday party, and it's down. But it's also 4:30, and it's getting too windy, and it's getting colder. It may snow tonight, accumulating on grass, which means it'll be slushy on the road. We've got forsythia up. We've got magnolia trees in red bloom. We've got tulips and daffodils and. All sorts of lovely things coming, and my mayflowers are up in my yard. My mayflowers are up, and jeez, <laughs> snow tonight, maybe, and mostly in the north, but still. It's going to be a cold, wet, windy, nasty mess all week, apparently. Yuck. So you're okay, huh? Because you were in that mix, yes. Thank you, baby. He's okay. He's okay. You're a good boy? I think you were a good boy in that mess. I think you were a good boy, so... Alright. Anyway, that's enough for me. And you wanted to see my setup? There's my dusty little setup. 
It's just Velcro. I just Velcro the camera to the dashboard. I have Velcro that's always on the camera, the, the soft fuzzy part, and then the, the rough fuzzy part is on the dashboard. One already came off the camera, but oh well. Anyway, take care of yourselves and each other and your dogs. Right? Right? Yes. And uh, hopefully no more doggy drama today, I'm hoping. Hope you don't have any doggy drama either. So take care, everybody, and uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye. No. You're the baby? You're the baby. You're the baby. Oh, you're a baby, baby. Yes. Here we got a little uh, daffodil action there. And some grape hyacinths way down there. can barely see them. And... The rose is starting to get some nice growth here. Yeah, got the rose coming. And we got more daffies over here with more grape hyacinths, synths, 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 synths. Grape hyacinths, these little guys down here, these pretty blue guys. There we go. Yes, those are grape hyacinths. All right. And this poor little garden that needs heavy duty attention soon. But the daffies are up, and that's nice. I've got kind of pale daffies with the yellow daffies with it. I got a daffodil collection a while back and put a few in here, and it's kind of nice to see them come up. But yeah, this, this requires serious, serious help. Oh, boy. And I think this is forsythia. Very early springtime fleur. And I really should trim them back a little bit so they get to be a little more... Um, full because now they're kind of straggly but yeah forsythia so I got some blooms here's my little garden update for you I'm still working on the HUD 203k process I got the consultant stuff done and there's no way I'll get enough money to fix up the house the way I wanted so we're gonna have to think twice now so I'll keep you posted on that too bye bye